On the outskirts of Reno, where the weather is hot and the women are hotter, there's a little spot called the Mustang Ranch, a place where prostitution is perfectly legal. You get to choose your partner from a stable of gorgeous women. Then you can take them up to a private room for a roll in the hay. But if you plan on visiting this brothel, you better bring your rubbers and your Vista card. Because at the Mustang Ranch, they don't let you ride without a raincoat. And they don't take U.S. Express. Vista, it's everywhere you want to be. Welcome to CJ McDoodle's newest location, located right here in our Midtown Plaza. Now, don't forget to try our new flavor for the day. It's sort of a tuna fish, Pop-Tart, Starburst flavor. <laughs> but it's not. Okay, now, please help me in welcoming one of my favorites, and I know he's one of yours. Let's hear it for Wild E. Coyote! <laughs> I no longer go by that slave cartoon name, Wild E. Coyote, but I go by Willie Coyote, because I got you back, Snoop Doggy Dog. Hell yeah. Okay, Willie. Oh, uh, hey, I hear that patronistic sound in your voice. <laughs> okay, well, he'll be here for another seven hours, kid, so don't be shy. Come up and ask a few questions, okay? Hi, Mr. Coyote. Hey, 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 how you doing? Don't get hey. too close. I know about you white women. My son thinks your show is so funny. He just loves you and that little roadrunner. Ha <laughs> ha, you'll never catch him. Tell you what, I'm the one that made the real run. I caught him, but see, they don't want to show you that. See, they don't want to show a brother catching their brother because they think I'll try to get too much on the show. You understand what I'm saying? So why don't you run along and play on the railroad track somewhere while the train is <laughs> You need to treat me like a tune. Yeah, you know, I like ladies, girl. You know what I'm saying? You looking good, you know what I'm saying? Got some good-looking legs, you know? Just want to rub up again. Hey, get off of me! Oh, it's because I ain't got no genitals, son. Hey, 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 hey. I hired you for good, wholesome entertainment. Now, you keep it up, and I'll take the hoes to you. Hey, yeah, man, speaking of hoes, brother, is it a tree I could raise my leg on, man? Let's go, you know what I'm saying? You should have thought about that before you punched in. Yeah, you don't get a break for another hour. I see what's going on. You're going to treat me like a tune, huh? That's all right. Go ahead and oppress me, brother. You wouldn't do this to Woody Woodpecker now, would you, huh? You know you wouldn't. See, that's the thing. See, you guys are treating us canines wrong. Oh, I'll say it and I'll say it again. I didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on me. That's what I'm talking about, man. Now that's good, wholesome entertainment. Ain't this a bitch? Hey, 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 let me tell you, hey, let me tell you something, little kids. I ain't like that little dinosaur, you know, Barney. I'll break you off something. I'll go food zone with little types, you know what I'm saying? Help! Help! Security! Hey, what's up? Get out, get out, get out! Get out! Whoa there, Barney! Get your flea-bitten paws off of them kids before I shoot you to smithereeny! <laughs> went down to the clinic, you know, because that little bitch burned me. Yeah! You know Mr. Coyote, hi, Mr. Sham. Can we get your autograph? No problem. You got a pen sure. in there, brother? Here's one. All right, then. Yeah. Let's see. This is a fun-looking pen. Best of luck on the nine tray, because you know what's going on. Hey, you 
slimy little critters? These pants don't even rot! Yeah. What the? This week on Fox, the first annual infomercial award show. Honoring the finest in commercials that try to look like real TV shows. And now, your host, Juicy J. Corden. And his sporting show, Bernie. Thank you, thank you very much. What an honor it is to be your host for the Envies. Hey, Gordon, where are you? Right behind you, Juicy J. You're crazy. Yeah! Didn't even see you there. Now, Gordy, what's our first category? Okay, Juicy J. Tell him. Okay, Juicy J. Our first award is our for the outstanding achievement in the field of get rich quick schemes. Yeah! <laughs> and the nominees are Tommy Wu. You Americans lazy. I was bull person. I still bull person, but now photos over 100 feet long with jacuzzi bigger than your house. And all I do is have sex all day with women twice as tall. And Tony Robbins, unleash your financial giant. I want to unleash the financial giant within you. I know my size is alarming, but do not fear me. Do you realize I am a friendly giant, much like Herman Munster or that retreated fellow, one of my and men? Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of Fran Tarkington! <laughs> and the winner is... Tommy Wu! Unlike your show, we don't have 30 minutes. Now scram! <laughs> yeah! Let's get on with the next award, buddy. Get on with it! Uh, the next award is for Outstanding Achievement by a Physically Repellent Infomercial Host. Now, our first nominee is Lori Davis, who should order Susan Powder's Stop the Insanity Weight Loss Table. <laughs> our second nominee is Susan Powder, who could benefit from Lori Davis' hair care system. Our third nominee is Jane Kennedy, who should try Jane Kennedy's California Diet. And the winner is Susan Powder and Lori Davis. Yeah! Who's made the Lord Davis hair care system such a success? I'd like to thank all the desperate, obese women out there who have decided to stop the insanity and send me their money. That's a real nice haircut, honey. Look at the tennis ball with a head. Excuse me, are you talking to me, Shamu? Yes, I am, honey. You know, you know, you, you have real pretty eyes. You're pretty good looking for a big gal. <laughs> The first annual infomercial award coming next week on Fox. Oh, you better hurry up. Bonnie Hefner will be here any minute. I'm just finishing up some important business, Edith. <laughs> Say, Edith, do me a favor there, will you? The next time you make macaroni, chill out on the cheese, huh? They said he's been a 30 minutes of hard labor there. Hey, wait a second. Hold on a second, little girl. Can I ask you a question there? Sure, Daddy. What the hell are you wearing? It's an old Adidas school dress, Daddy. Don't you like it? It looks more like a ripped condom there. Now put on something respectable. I got Barney Hefner coming over here, and if you're going to get with him, you got to look fly. Daddy, I don't want to get with him. You want me to get with him. By the way, what's so big about Barney anyway? Three things, little girl. One, he's got a good job. Number two, unlike a certain hammock kid you used to date, he's a citizen of the U.S. of A there. And number three, <laughs> shut up and get changed. Mom! Oh, gee, she's here. <laughs> Barney, my age boom. Come hey, Ozzy, what's up, man? How you doing? Edith, how you doing? Hey, Barney, uh, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Gloria, here. Get over here. Gloria, this is Barney, the most eligible bachelor at the plant. Daddy! Uh, gee. Now, I don't mean to embarrass you, Barney, but uh, me and the guys down at the plant have been noticing you've been in a little slump with the hoochies lately. 
And it just so happens that my little girl here has just got out of what do you call a malfunctional relationship there. This is ridiculous, Daddy. I will not be treated like a child. Jeez, of course not, little girl. Now let's go out to the kitchen and get Bonnie an old English there. She's a real honey dip, eh, Bonnie? Well, what I'm be right saying, back there, Bonnie. I'm uh, look, I, you know, I didn't get a chance to tell uh, Archie that I can't go out with Gloria. I'm already seeing somebody. Oh, that's too bad. What's her name? Uh, Stephen. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's your mouth. Look here, one. Yeah. Here you oh, go. thanks, Ed. Thank Gloria's out in the kitchen making some nachos. <laughs> She's quite a girl, that Gloria there. <laughs> you two will have a great time together, Bonnie. <laughs> Archie, I just don't think that Bonnie wants to push up on Glory. What's wrong with you, you dingbat? Gloria's dope. He'd have to be gay not to want to go out with her. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Edith? Who put such a crazy idea like that in your head? He did. Archie. He was joking, you dingbat. Everybody knows Bonnie's got a crazy sense of humor. <laughs> Like the time you showed up at the plant Christmas party, you know, dressed there. Yeah. <laughs> and high heels. <laughs> and pantyhose. Oh, jeez. Here's some nacho. You want another beer? Why don't you bring him a Harvey Wallbringer with an umbrella there? <laughs> or better yet, just bring him Harvey. <laughs> oh, Archie, chill. Bonnie's your homie. You mean homo. <laughs> and get your butt out of that chair. God only know where it's been. Look, man, you are being ignorant, man. I'm not ignorant, buddy. You're the one who's ignorant. I know my Bible there, which says in the beginning, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Bonnie. Hey, man, you are talking crazy. You didn't have no problem with me yesterday. Yesterday? You wasn't a Fruit Loop. That's it. I'm leaving, man. So soon, Bonnie? Archie, I'm ashamed of you. Me too, Daddy. You've been friends for too long to end this way. Oh, geez, you too. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Bonnie, we've been through a lot together, and I... I guess you're okay. For a pansy. <laughs> Tomorrow at the plan, all right? So, uh, uh, oh, did I drop a quarter over there? What are you talking about, Bonnie? I don't see no quarter over here. Oh, baby got back. Get <laughs> that out of here. Stupid old Leon pulled your uh, underpants down. Okay. But your mother need to buy some shouts. So, 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 so. Okay, okay, okay. Let's play a game. Okay, let's play Lorraine the Babbit. I'll get the scissors. No, I don't want to play that. Okay. What you want to play? Um, let's play party. Okay. Come on, party. Party, 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 party. Oh, here we are. Girl. Ding dong. You always nagging me. That's all you do. Nag, 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 oh, nag, nag, nag. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, but a beautiful party. Such lovely declaration. Yes. So effective. Yes. I would love something to drink. Give me a J.J. Walker with a twist of Willona and a Scottish man on the rocks with a double dip. <laughs> Why you gotta always bust my basketballs? <laughs> I'm gonna go to Jacoby and Myers. They've been on my side since 1981. <laughs> I will get my own drink, thank you. I just don't know what to do with that man. He has been the same since the Reagan administration. <laughs> oh, and don't worry about me, baby. I'm gonna find a man who depreciates me. <laughs> oh, oh, you're so funny <laughs> and you're cute too. <laughs> oh, hey, wait a minute, don't pinch me. What's the big idea, buddy? Hey, wait a 
other game. Okay, what you want to play? Let's play positive black role models on television. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Sorry, you canceled. <laughs> All right, everybody, take five. Oh, man. Come on, Ice Tree. Where the hell are you? Hey, 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 hey. Man, look at this club on here, man. Hey, man, gotta have that club. Now, look here. Forget Ice Tree home base. Because <laughs> we are in the house. You hear me? Uh, man, what the hell is... Man, I think an introduccionace would be in order right now. I'm Clavel. And I am Howard Tibbs III. And we are Funky, Funky Finger, Finger Productions. Productions. Do you hear me? Show enough. <laughs> Let me give you one of my cards. You know I'm fresh out. I must have gave the last one to uh, uh, my Slick Rick's coming out party. Howard! Bam! <laughs> All right, man, pay no attention to all that stuff, man. Reese's baby got boogers all over this. Scene, man. That's the number. That's my cousin Boudreaux. All right, call anytime you want. Now, that's Pizza Hut, but don't worry about it. Uh, what do you guys want? Don't you know we are rappers extraordinaire? Uh, okay, look, I, I'm sure you guys are good, but I only handle OG gangster well, original Well, trust me, homie. You hear that? I'm bad. <laughs> it's cool, man. Trying to kill somebody? Man, have you ever heard the song Cop Killer? Well, our debut single is called Kill the Cop and then Jaywalk. <laughs> Say what? Now, check out the career master blaster plan. Howard, would you be so kind as to do the honors soon as you get your thing correct? <laughs> Bam! <laughs> All right, now, let me tell you something. Our research shows... Mm hmm that criminal charges can do wonders for your record sales. Now, this is our funky finger felony chart. Now, you see this here is Tupac. Can't yes, leave the bitches alone. You hear what I'm saying? Then we slide on down. Snoop Doggy Dog with a nuclear curve. <laughs> One well-timed drive-by and he's platinum, baby. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> now, see, we taught Snoop Doggy Dog everything he knows. Raised me? him from a pup, man. What was his name back then? Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> Say what? Okay, well, guys, if you don't mind, I'm sorry. Hey, I... hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> uh, 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 look here, man. Funky Finger Productions, man. We are in and we are down, Yes, man. right. Now, if you slide down to the end, here we be. Now, right we go up into a market, slip a few snicker bars in the hip pocket, and we will have enough gold in our teeth to make a record. Uh, security! Oh, man, hold on, man. Oh, man. Security, man. Damn, Damn, that vest is bumping. Say what? You can't stop the music, Howard. Boom. In the groove. Freeze! And freeze one more time. And bam! There you go. <laughs> now this here is the video for the soon-to-be hit single, I'm gonna bust a cap in your bootay. Now you see, this is R and B on the hip-hop tip, like Belle Biv DeVoe. You know I love the little lead singer. The one with the Neanderthal frontal lobe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like a little dolphin. Show no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> See, focus up, man. Here we go home, skillet. And see you all night. Keep it. It's like... Uh, yeah, uh -huh. okay. Oh, I stray. Oh, man. Those are punks that tied me up. Get on Come on, let's go. Come on, man. Come on, come on, get you some, man. Hey, man. Hey, 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 oh, man. Hey, 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 and turn the party out, check it out. Uh. Got biz in the house, I'm live and living color. Ain't that right? 
You say that's your boyfriend, you see him out of line Funny, said I can call him up any time Or you could call me wrong, say that I ain't right But if that's your boyfriend, he wasn't last night I'm the kind of woman, I'll do almost anything They get what you want, I might play any little game Call me what you like, but you know it's true You're just jealous, cause he wasn't with you Don't mean no harm, just like what I see And it ain't my fault that he wants me Got what I'm on and in the feeling was right So if that's your boyfriend, it wasn't last night Check it out, some boyfriend, boyfriend, yes I, yo, I get around, uh, say get that your boyfriend, he was an ass sign, yeah, hey, biz, hey, get that your boyfriend, if that's your boyfriend, if that's your boyfriend, he was an ass sign, so crank up the track. The late at night, calls me on my telephone That's when you call them all, you get busy, busy, busy tone You're upset cause you want...